Okay, here we go. The first, I'm going to have you. Uh, I was going to give you an update on our snowstorm. So, Deb, if you want to spin around and show, point out the window. I don't want to do it too fast. And Peach, kind of shut, point out towards the wall and loader. You can see there's hardly no snow on the roof of the loader. So, and if you point down to the sidewalk there a little bit, there's no hardly no snow. So, the snow stayed south of Gaylord, so we didn't actually get any to speak of. So, I just want to give you an update because I. I thought we were going to get a snowstorm, so some of you have probably tuned in this morning to see if we got it. So, okay, swing back around. So normally I don't, we don't do the video till closer to supper time, but today, because of the snowstorm, I wanted to do that. So, so today my plans are to paint, to paint all the parts that need the second coat for the dozer. And another thing I'm going to do today is work more on the E.J. Potter's engine. I should get, a, I should, I could possibly get it done, maybe the engine, but if not. But then the, the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to start on the, four, the first 40, 20 steps. So what I do is I try to get down and take a photograph. If It's rare that I have a toy, so it's usually a picture. A photograph so but if I have the real thing I can get I get much more detail so what I would do and you get what happens is you get fisheye if you just take one picture so I'm gonna what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take divide the tractor in half and take a picture of this half then take a picture of this half and then I'll have Nicole put those two pictures together and then it should be more of a straight on straight on picture because on the dozer we got fisheye on the front blade and stuff and we didn't do that, so uh, so we ended up just having to guess even a little bit more. So on the 4020 here, I'm going to do that. So I'm going to do two on each side. Then I'm going to do two from the back. I'm even going to split the back to make sure, because if you look, look in the front, it's not straight on. So you almost have to do it from just past the tire on both sides to not to get the fish out. And then I'm going to do one from the top. And I'll even split that. So I want to make sure I got the fenders aren't got the curved fish eye in it. And then I'll take so I'll take two from the top and I'll even split the front. So that'll give me some straight on straight on images. So when we blow them up, the, they should be they should even be easier to to work with. So so the first step, one of the first steps after I get the the images back from Nicole will be to uh, build the build the inserts. I don't know if you can see where I've kind of roughly marked in. It's, it's seven and a quarter inch of diameter there, and this is a uh, three sixteenths and yeah, maybe eighth inch. Oh, cool. that's eighth inch. So this is eighth inch plate, and so I'll. I'll uh, get the plasma cutter and burn those circles. So I'll need uh, I'll need um, four of those for the duals. And then what I'll do is take the air out of the tires, and you can see they have split rims. So I'll pop the the nuts off and split the rims, and then I can get that smooth surface here to lay them circles in. And then I'll mark it from the other side where to drill the holes. So. And uh, so that'll be one of the first things, and I'll probably go, I'll probably go, let me see, let me see, let me see. I had some, I just had a speed right off hand, but I'm thinking, probably I'm going to go, probably 5 eighths is going to be too small for their back axle to start, start with, so I'm going to probably go, I might go up. This is an inch, let me see. An inch. I might go with one inch, because normally all my models, the axles are built on, on five eighths, so that'll be, I was thinking even a three quarters, but I think even for this, this is gonna be he pretty heavy. It's gonna be good size. So I'll probably go one inch on the back axle. So that'll be, 
pretty beefy. And then we'll have the big plow that'll be hooked onto that, so that'll be heavy. So if any of the weight from the plow, if it's in the raised position, and then all the weight from the tractor, it'll there there won't be no problem holding that up for the next hundred years. So I think that was all my project. So just kind of want to update, make it short that we didn't get the snowstorm. I'm gonna by the end of tonight when we do the next video, hopefully these parts are all repainted. The the engine here it will be done, and I don't think I'll get to this. I'll send these out to Nicolo today, and I think that's pretty much pretty much it. But we're officially starting on the the forty twenty by sending the pictures out to uh, Nicole for her to scale them up. So okay, everybody, have a great. You get confused on the days. But today is Saturday, right? <laughs> the second. Jeez. The second? Mm. I mean, it's been goofy. But it ain't just me. I, I, a lot of people say they get they don't know what day it is. So have a great Saturday, everybody. And we'll talk to you tonight. And hopefully we'll get the engine done and the uh, dozer painted. And uh, we'll, then we can kind of start to focus a little bit more on the, the 4020. Okay, see you later.